Hi guys, welcome back. This is Srikan. Today in this video, we'll be talking about the very important concept that is the creating the partitioning on a table. Okay, so how we can do it? I have one table called as demo p, and this table doesn't have any record. It's a fresh table basically. I have just created it for the demo purpose so what we have to do for creating the partitioning on this table and not please note one thing that this is the existing table i am going to create a partitioning on the existing table so what are the steps which i need to follow first of all i need to click on storage then i can see there a uh, one option called as a create partition then pop-up will come and that pop -up will show me all the column which are there in that table so i am having only two columns one is id another is name then we have to select on which column we have to specify the name so that uh, sorry we have to specify the range and those range will be used for creating the partitions i am specifying the column as id and uh, clicking on next we have to specify the name for the function partition function then we have to specify the name for the partition schema then we have uh, two things called as the range in that range we have the two things basically left boundary and the right boundary when i select the left boundary i can see the symbol called as the less than equal to when i select the right boundary i can only see the uh, symbol called as the less than what does it mean the boundary will define the ranges so let's do that suppose i am specifying that here value equal to 2 what does it mean it means that the value which is equal to or less than 2 will be placed in the first partition next i'm uh, 3 is there 3 next what does it mean the value which are between the 2 and the 3 will be placed in another partition next i can have a flexibility to store the partition on the different file groups so shrikant is another file group i have created there i am specifying as a 4 right now i have defined the boundaries for that then clicking on the estimate but when i click on the next i will get the error and the error is the number of file group or the range value are not specific enter the extra file group in addition to the number of boundaries value what does it mean it means that if i am uh, if i am having the value uh, uh, apart from this two three or four let's say I, if i'm going to add a value as equal to 5 then where that value will be stored on which partition that value will be stored so i need to s select the default if i'm going to specify the primary then it will be stored on the primary if i'm going to specify on the secondary that's the shrikan i have right now so it will be stored on the secondary it depend on you where you want to store it then click on the next then you will have a lot of options here the first option is just create a script and the script will have it and then if you want to run it then you can just simply run it um, okay what I'm going to do here I'm just creating the script script to new window next so script will be there in a new window for partitioning let's go to that one by one so ah uh, so let's go to this database db1 then first of all we have to create the partition function let's see the syntax it's a normal function but we have a fa partition function basically and the name of this we have given as a partition here and the column data type is int and the range we have specified 2 3 and the 4 what does it mean so for the values which are less than or equal to 2 it will be placed in the first partition and the value which are less than 3 and greater than 2 will be placed in the second partition and the third partition so on then we have to specify the name uh, function name for the partition schema so here i have specified the partition schema as a part s as a partition on the part a part a is my partition function so on which file group i have this one so uh, you can see here there are uh, four entries which are but i have only specified two values right but if you remember we were getting the error and which we are asking us to give us on default uh, file group so uh, we have given the primary right so these are the functions next very important thing here is that um, while partitioning if we have a cluster index on a table first of all we need to drop it then we need to create